Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Karen. I make bookish and school related videos and my hair is a mess and the sliding is too. Today's video is going to be a book review on When Dimple Met Rishi by Sandhya Menon. Look at that, it's just one spot. I wanted to structure my book reviews and book talks a little bit more than I usually do and so I organized this video into different sections and I'm going to start off with the summary first. So When Dimple Met Rishi is a young adult contemporary romance novel that switches between the two perspectives of Dimple and Rishi. The story takes place in San Francisco, California at InsomniaCon, which is a web development um, coding app convention for students. Dimple just graduated from high school and she's on her way to Stanford, go her, but her first stop is InsomniaCon so that she can create and code this unique app and hopefully win the event. On the other hand, we have Rishi. He's a hopeless romantic, only there to really meet Dimple so that he can fall in love with her for an Indian arranged marriage. <laughs> to wrap it all up, the parents of Dimple and Rishi send these two kids to InsomniaCon so that they can meet for their arranged marriage and they meet and the story goes from there. I don't want to say too much. I went in reading this book knowing really nothing about it and I'm glad that I did because I got more out of the book and I enjoyed it more that way. All right, so now I want to talk about the characters in this story. I want to start off by saying that I really enjoyed reading about all of the different characters in the story, even the supporting characters in the background. There were a lot of people, but I feel like each and every one of them did have great development and they all had a conclusion, so I didn't really Really feel like I was left on the cliffhanger. I love that Dimple, our main character, was presented as this strong-minded, determined female character, but because she is this strong-minded, determined female character, there will be frustrating parts with Dimple that I really didn't like at some points, but I still appreciated um, Dimple as a whole and just reading about her character. I love that she was so set on making her own decisions for herself and being her own person and I love reading that in young adult books and I love seeing myself in characters and I feel like she was a relatable character especially to me. I am a STEM student um, if you say that and Dimple here is a STEM student as well and so I got to see some similarities between me and her with our love for science and technology and education and just trying to lead a great life for ourselves. Rishi on the other hand was one of my favorite characters. I actually, well dust. To be honest, I haven't really read a lot of books where the main guy is a hopeless romantic. It's always the girl that's falling over for a boy, but really the boy in this story was falling for the girl and I really liked reading about that. I love that culture and family was really important to Rishi because you also don't see that in a lot of books. You can tell throughout the book that Dimple and Rishi help each other out so much. Rishi is pursuing one thing because of his father, but really he wants to pursue something else and Dimple really helps him out with that and I just, oh, that was so beautiful. Alright, so now I want to talk about the writing. Um, I really don't know how to talk and critique writing in a book because I just appreciate all writing. So I mentioned in other videos before that I'm not really a contemporary romance type of reader, um, but this summer I was kind of craving a summary type of book and this one was the perfect one for that. And also this book had so many mixed reviews, I just had to pick it up for myself to really see if I would like it and I'm glad that I did. Overall when it came to the writing it was really accessible and easy to read, um, but because this has a lot of Indian cultural um, references and influences. I did stop at some points and I just had to reread certain sections because there were Indian phrases and Indian references to different like outfits and traditions and I wanted to look some stuff up and I learned a lot through this book and you don't really learn a lot about a culture in a YA book. So even though there were a lot of Indian um, phrases and words, I wasn't too distracted. I, I just wish that there was like a glossary or a dictionary in the back that like told me everything. But Menon, the author, she did a great job at balancing everything out. So if the mom of Dimple was saying something in Indian, um, Dimple would reply back in English and so that would help me understand what they were talking about. It did take me a while to realize that was happening but it's okay. That 
you'll get it. All right, so I'm closing this off with some overall thoughts and overall i really enjoy this book i love reading about a character especially a female character that starts off one way and ends another because of the people she met in her life and the experiences that she has gone through i love the friendship between dimple and her roommate celia celia but anyway because this book has a lot of stem science technology engineering and mathematic um references and influences i just wish i saw more about dimple coding um, we got to, so Rishi, he likes art. That's the one thing he wanted to do. And we got to read about Rishi doing his art throughout the entire book, but I wanted to read more about Dimple and her coding because I know that like coding is so important to her. So I wanted to see more of that, but overall, this was a really cute book. I loved it. It's a very romancy summary type of book. So I'm so glad that I read it during the summer. All right, everyone, that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. That'll make me very, very happy. I have a new video coming out this Friday. I hope you all have a great rest of the week. Bye everyone.